My mom was about to touch a jellyfish one day. Yes. And she could have been in heaven right now. <laughs> uh, you know, vultures are shy creatures, but they're very misunderstood. Bees kill more people than sharks. So those hum- uh, bumblebees that are like... <laughs> beekeeping that happens. That kills more people than sharks. Anti-venom is the probably only thing that can save you from snake bites. Like uh, rubbing like a tulsi ma will not just... Uh, get you blessed. It's not true that uh, a black cat that crosses your path and then all of a sudden if you cross that path, you're cursed for hell. Hmm. Then you have to go straight to Ganga and then Dupkia. That's not what you need to do. <laughs> Just cross the way, will you? If it's a life and death situation, you will anyway. So black cats are not cursed. Even though hundreds and th- uh, hundreds of them, sh- tush, What's I'm talking. Who's that Dupkia? <laughs>
In fact, falling off of your bed is a, uh, has a higher body count than shark attacks. Bees kill more people than sharks. So those humble, uh, bumblebees that are like <laughs> beekeeping that happens. That kills more people than yeah. sharks. Yeah. So that's a very, very, you know, disgusting myth, honestly. What is the most uh, common myth animals may ki aisa hota hai, lekin actually aisa hota nahi hai. Like, uh, mm. I'm just trying to remember. Maybe something like, in this is India, okay? Huh. Snakes. Snakes. Yes. Snakes are Lord Shiva's descendants or something. Hmm. I'm not very, um, you know, mythological, so hmm. don't blame me, guys. Hmm. So, like, snakes are like the descendants or something of Lord Shiva. So, even if you literally kiss a snake, hmm. which has killed a lot of people, science, hmm. the snakes have three types of venoms neurotoxic, heterotoxic, and something that begins with P. I don't remember. <laughs> what? I studied snakes like four years ago. That's okay. Nobody's judging you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, heterotoxins, literally when they bite you, mm. the blood flows until you die. You die of blood loss. Because the venom does not allow the blood to clot. Mm. And then, uh, that is the second most dangerous. The most dangerous venom is neurotoxic. The moment it bites you, the nervous system of your body, which includes your he uh, brain, it's affected. Oh. All your nerves go uh, nerves uh, go haywire, everything goes haywire hmm. and you end up dying. Hmm. So no, do not kiss snakes, do not touch snakes. And if you have to catch a snake, hmm. there is only one way you can do that without getting really like badly bitten. Hmm. Hold it by the neck, hmm. choke it. Well, it won't exactly get choked considering they don't have like, you get it. Like uh, they won't get choked, <laughs> like you have to squeeze it, their head. And then they'll, uh, their mouth will instantly open and then you just have to throw them somewhere. Some people hold them by the tails. They're snakes, they have flexible bones, unlike humans who, uh, who, whose bones do these. Hmm. Snake's bones can curve. So the snake is like, if the snake is like this, hmm. it'll just curve and come back to bite you. Yeah. And then you'll be like, ah! <laughs> like uh, there was a news report hmm. in which a guy who had killed, I like, I mean, who had caught like hundred, I mean, I don't know how many snakes. Hmm. He finally died by being bitten by one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy uh, was trying to treat himself by herbs. Hmm. Well, guys, shocker fact, herbs will not help for hmm. a very long time. Your best choice is going to some uh, doctor that has uh, skills in anti-venom of snakes. Hmm. Because anti-venom is the probably only thing that can save you from snake bites. Like mm. uh, rubbing like a tulsi ma will not mm. just mm. Uh, get you blessed. Mm. Your best choice is going straight to the doctor. Tulsi ma is a good one. That's true, that's true. I mean, you know, like we, we need to go to the doctor. Believe that's a lot of knowledge with the information that you have shared with us. Um, what about one more? <laughs> so there's one more myth. Uh, on hyenas. On hyenas? Oh yes, hyenas that... Uh, Hyenas no, are I mean, disgusting. I mean, I wanted to talk about cats. Ki, oh, black cats are horrendous. Uh -huh. But well, is it true? When they no. When, uh, if you're super, uh, superstitious, hmm. it's not true that uh, a black cat that crosses your path and then all of a sudden if you cross that path, you're cursed for hell. Hmm. Then you have to go straight to Ganga and then Dupkia. That's not <laughs> what you need to do. Just cross the way, will you? If it's a life and death situation, you will anyway. <laughs> so black cats are not cursed, even though hundreds and th uh, hundreds of them stush. I'm talking. What was that dookie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, hundreds of black cats were killed in the olden times for this curse. Hmm. It oh, was really? bad. Yes. Egypt. Uh, even Egyptians got in the act. <laughs> even Egyptians got the fashion funda. <laughs> And they started killing black cats. Hundreds because they of also died. believed in it. Yes. Like, uh, not exactly in that, but they also had these ancient curses that are going to cats. What's the about hyenas? Myth hai? That hyenas are horrible and, you know, they're uh, bad creatures that are killable. Well, they look really mean. They are mean, but they're cleaning up our environment. Huh. Vultures and hyenas share the same so what is the myth? disgusting First factor. Of all, hyenas that they are bad and that, you know, they deserve to die. Oh. But without them, hmm. this world would be a trash can, literally. Hmm. Because hmm. hyenas' job is to, uh, you know, uh, rotting meat, their job is to eat it. Hmm. So they are cleaving the planet clean. Or else you go on a safari, you know, paying millions of dollars or God knows what not, 
and all you find in safaris are dead animals smell oh my god oh, they are the one who are they are the ones they are the cleaners of our planet okay so and their spit is so toxic hmm. that it dissolves the rotting meat like if a uh, hyena bites you hmm. the flesh can be infected in like minutes hmm so hyenas are dangerous hmm. but they they are like pros and cons you know every animal has their pros and cons that's true so like hyenas have their pros that they keep the planet clean hmm. but their cons is that they are highly aggressive <laughs> is a myth about ullu also what is the myth do you know i don't know okay okay i i don't know that, that. they pick out is it like they are 360 degree oh yeah owls can turn around 270 degrees but no, i don't 360 I don't think I'm not really sure about that. पूरी गर्दन घुमा लेते हैं. Yeah, they do it till here. Like they can literally do it till here. But I don't know if they can make a full rotation. I think it's a 270 degree. Thing. Okay. Yeah, I think it was 270 degrees. They can tilt their head 270 degrees hmm. before they go back. Well, Jay, thank you so much. आप लेके इतनी knowledge जो gain कर गया books पढ़ के right? Mm-hmm. So uh, books, National Geographic, newspapers. Okay. and that is amazing so do you think uh, myths jo hoti hain jo aati hain they come they like form a part of our narrative because uh, lack of awareness because of lack of awareness yeah like uh, if someone starts a myth let's say i start a myth crocodiles are now vegetarian which is true one vegetarian crocodile just died mm-hmm. but now i just say all crocodiles are vegetarian the next thing you know people will be licking crocodile ears i mean crocodiles for there are horrendously magical properties hmm so yeah like it's not myths can like right now if i go, go spreading a myth hmm. and since i'm like renowned in my society that animals are like my dub hmm. so like uh, if i just go on and say oh if you lick a crocodile scale you'll become like i don't know shaktiman hmm. but you're saying that if you if if somebody so myths is something like myths are something you know somebody said myths, something myths are like if someone even a little bit so how can we sorry so how can we how can we change ourselves like myths ko debunk karne ke liye kya karna chahiye research research is our only option before you start a random uh, you know rumor that uh, this is happening this will be happening and all why don't we all just take a little while research hmm. it scientifically hmm. or we have to research it scientifically hmm and then you know yeah like you have to research it scientifically before you uh, you know that's important uh, start spreading it around like really fast that's because important. some people you know they instantly believe myths hmm. and those are the people who either lose their lives hmm. or make animals lose their lives okay. because either they die from the animal or uh, they kill the animal because they are not aware yes so hmm. research your facts and if it's 100% true hmm. then you can go and spread it around Like remember, I was not aware when we went to Goa. I was not aware about the. Yeah, mom was about to like. Uh, <laughs> Mama uh, had a myth in her mind huh. that starfishes are very dangerous. They're poisonous. Yes, they're dangerously poisonous. Huh. And no, that is not true. That they do have a crushing bite that could break a bone. Like starfish. If, yeah, they have yeah. a bad bite, but they're not poisonous. Ooh. Like you might want to, you know, get some good treatment on the bite. Hmm. but uh, they, you might get infection hmm. but they don't have bond venom like snakes do and i i thought you know agar main unko hath pe lungi and like uh, you really guys we have to uh, uh, you know get uh, really you know like jellyfish you really have to stay aware with them my mom was about to touch a jellyfish one yes day, <laughs> and she could have been in heaven right now <laughs> Uh, you know uh, that was a very dangerous day if i hadn't stopped her yes, she would true. have picked it up i would have picked it up i always thought they are so cute and jelly like and all that yeah and that's because mom watched a weird cartoon in which they have eyes <laughs> well they do have 24 eyes but you know that and then uh, little blushy th- uh, lines well jelly fishes are very dangerous in fact arguably they are the most dangerous animals in asia Yes, I think now I know. I mean, because of anyway, guys, I think that's a lot of myths busted. Yes, and um, I'll be seeing you. Keep reading in the next episode. Yeah. Keep reading. Yes, just Jay Sharma signing out. <laughs>